Number 37 is a monogamous relationship with one person. That's what a monogamous, monogamous relationship is. See, I learned this the hard way. I remember back in my pickup days, I was always searching for, oh, how can I have a harem? How can I have multiple girls? How can I sleep with multiple girls? How can I, you know, uh, be able to maneuver my way around different women? But here's what I realized. When you fall deeply in love with one person, be it a gift from God, be it you prepare and the opportunity is there and you're ready for it, that you work on yourself, that you, that you open your heart. When you are able to give everything you have to one girl, it really, really changes everything. Like really, man. It's really changed my life. And, and again, I will thank, I thank God for this because God knows how it happened. But I never thought in my wildest dreams that this would ever happen. But it happened. And in the past, the thought of this craving, this distraction, this noise of, oh, let me, you know, have harems and have like shallow relationships with people and not go into depth with anyone. That is really a perverted way to live. I believe this now. And, and, and it's not just my experience, right? If I look at my friends who are still in this pickup game and pickup attitude, man, I sometimes feel sorry for them. Because I'm like, dude, when you're 70 years old and you have uh, no wife, no kids, no grandkids, like, how are you going to find meaning in life? Like, aren't you going to have, like, deep, deep regret? I know I there's this... Uh, recent documentary called birth gap and uh jordan peterson and the guy who made it were talking recently on a podcast and they were talking about how there's this big uh, uh gap between first of all there's many many countries in which people are just not having kids the intimate relationship isn't there uh, there's a big you know high, very high percentage of virgins in these countries like japan i think 30% of Japanese men under the age of like 30, I think, are virgins. Like something like that. Check me on that. I'm not 100% sure, but Google this. Um, yeah, a lot of men are not getting in intimate relationships. And if, you know, be it from the, the feminist culture, or, you know, the, the toxic masculinity, whatever the hell it is, it doesn't matter, man. You don't have to fall for this stuff. You don't have to believe in this stuff, you don't have to give in to this stuff, I highly, highly recommend, highly advise you that you form a deep, intimate, loving relationship with one person. And uh, when it happens, my, my God, thank God for it, man. Really, really um, get prepared for it. Work on yourself, work on your health. Health, 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 work on it. Hardcore. Hardcore. 